Hi, I'm Randy Stevens, Chief Engineer of the 2013 Toyota Avalon. Today we'd like to introduce you to one of our technologies that we'll be introducing in 2013, which is in-car wireless cell phone charging. We're really excited to see our customers' reaction to this new first-in-the-world technology. Now one of the new features on the Avalon is the electronics bin, or e-bin as we call it. Uh, we learned from our customers early on in our customer studies that they were interested in a convenient place to put their cell phones, iPods, and charging cords. So we developed this e-bin in the front console for those needs. I'd like to give you a demonstration. The first application is to just simply put the phone on the e-bin tray. You're able to access the storage underneath the e-bin by sliding the tray up. You can also use the e-bin storage area to uh, conceal your cell phone while you're driving or while you're going into the store, close the tray and it's concealed. And then finally an option is to um, use the pass-through for the charging cord to charge your cell phone and it becomes a one solution for all your mobile technology needs. And so that's the use of the e-bin. Now last year Toyota introduced the Intune multimedia audio system. This is a great way to access applications like Pandora, iHeartRadio, and MovieTickets.com, for example, from your cell phone on your multimedia system. Since this is a wireless system, our engineers also thought it would be a great idea to introduce wireless cell phone charging. So that is what brought us to this point today, and I'd like to hand it over to our engineers to give you a more detailed explanation of that system. Hello, my name is Nick Satarski. I'm a senior engineer at the Toyota Technical Center in the ES1 division. Throughout the development of the new 2013 Toyota Avalon, I've been fortunate enough to participate in the development of, none, of many of the unique features, such as the IntelliTouch capacitive switches or the multicolor TFT displays. However, just when I thought my role in the Avalon was done, we decided to develop wireless charging system for the Avalon. For the wireless charging, there's a few options out there and we decided to go with the Qi wireless charging. The Qi wireless charging is a standard set forth by the Wireless Power Consortium or WPC. The WPC has just over a hundred members um, and for our development we partnered with two of the members, Denso and PLDS. This development created many unique challenges. For example, we didn't start the development until January or February of 2012, um, just less than a year ago. In addition, we didn't want to lose the functionality of the e-bin lid moving up and down, so we had to take this wireless charging unit and figure out how to package it within the e-bin lid. And then finally, we wanted to ensure that there was no performance loss in radio reception, and we needed to ensure that our part did not interfere with the radio. So what I'd like to do now is explain to you um, exactly how this wireless charging works. So we have a transmitter which is in your, your e-bin lid and what this transmitter does is it creates an electromagnetic field that travels through the air and gets coupled to the receiver which is in your cell phone. Once the receiver um, gets this electromagnetic field there's a coil on the inside which will turn it into uh, some voltage and current and proceed to charge your phone. From the customer point of view, basically all you need to do is set your phone down on the charging pad and your phone will begin to charge. There's no need for wires, um, it just sits there. The LED indicators on the pad will let you know the status of your charging and um, it'll tell you is the phone charging, is your phone placed there, is it fully charged? Is there an error? So it lets you know exactly what's going on. In addition to that, as I mentioned, we wanted to make sure that we didn't um, invade on the packaging space. So while your phone's charging, you're able to move the e-bin lid up and down and your phone will remain charging. Finally, if for some reason you wanted to completely disable your wireless charging system, on the inside of the e-bin, there's a switch conveniently located with an LED indicator. You would simply push the switch, the LED indicator would turn off, and then now you know that your wireless charging is disabled. 
Hi, my name is Sergey Gage. I'm an engineer for Toyota Technical Center ES1 division, and I will demonstrate the Avalon's wireless charger compatibility with a Qi-enabled phone. In order for the wireless charger to work, the mating device must be Qi-enabled. For some of the older phones, like this BlackBerry, for example, the wireless charger will not work. As I place it on the wireless charger pad, no charging occurs. To take one of the more popular phones in the market, like the iPhone 4S, the phone will not come with built-in Qi compatibility off the shelf. In order for the Qi wireless technology to work, you must purchase an accessory. Uh, for example, the Energizer Qi-enabled wireless sleeve will make the device Qi compatible. The sleeve can be purchased online or it can be purchased in your local electronics store. To make it Qi enabled, all you do is take the phone and put it inside of the sleeve like this. And when I place it on the wireless charging pad, the phone begins to charge. Another popular phone on the market is the Galaxy S3. This phone does not come with built-in Qi compatibility. Similar to the iPhone, to make it Qi enabled, you must purchase an, an accessory. So for this phone, there is an available Zens case, which will make it Qi compatible. The Zens case can be purchased online by searching for Zens Qi compatible back cover for Galaxy S3. To install the back cover to the Galaxy S3, all you do is take the existing, existing back cover off and put the Zen's back cover onto the phone, like so. And when I place it onto the wireless charging pad, the phone begins to charge. As Qi wireless technology becomes more popular, more phone manufacturers begin to make phones with built-in Qi compatibility. Recent launches of built-in Qi-enabled phones include LG Nexus 4, Nokia Lumia 920, and HTC 8X. The convenience of wireless charging is another feature of the all-new Toyota Avalon.